Hey, is that better? Can you hear me now? <sighs> Somebody tell me you can hear me. It helps if, uh, apparently, if I take myself off a of mute over here. We <laughs> need captions. Yeah. Okay, good. That's better. Sorry about that. I look like a, uh, oh, man, <laughs> not Jackie Chan. What is it? Bruce Lee. Mouth was moving. No sound was coming out. All right, so I'll do all that over again. My name's Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Uh, this is my great cup of coffee. This is what we're talking about this morning. I titled the show this morning when it's broken. Very um, um, appropriate, given that I can't work the buttons and stuff over here. But that, hey, look, that's okay. We'll get there. Thank you so much to uh, Joe, Mark, Abby, and uh, Eric. I think I saw Eric in there. Yep, there's Eric. Thank you all for being here. Hey, if uh, you haven't done so already, take just a second. Leave me a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. And uh, I always appreciate that. And it gets you set up so that Facebook will keep you involved in the conversation that goes on after the show is over. All right, so. This morning, talking about what to do when things aren't working. Not my sound setup or my microphone, but just stuff in general. You know, if you've got, if you're trying a uh, a new business, if you're trying a new venture, maybe I don't know, just trying a new hobby. What do you do when things aren't working? So I've got three things for you to think about. Uh, maybe a little bit of homework to do on each one of them, but through these three things, you will find the answer to what to do when things aren't working. Before I get there, if you appreciate the stuff that uh, we talk about here every week, be sure and share this in your network. There are folks out there who can benefit from this message as well, and they will appreciate you for sharing. All right. What to do when things aren't working. Number one, check your expectations. Right. Frustrations are a function of expectation. If you are frustrated with the results that you're getting or not getting, then the first thing to do is to check your expectations. Are they realistic? If you are starting a brand new business from scratch doing, I don't know, um, Internet marketing to go from zero to a million dollars in the first month, not really realistic expectations. Even zero to a thousand in the first month is probably not realistic expectations. Make sure that your expectations are in line and appropriate. And look, I don't have any problem with setting stretch goals and setting it just outside of what you think. I mean, take it to where you want it to be and then, you know, dial it up to 11. Just one more notch. That's okay. But make sure that your expectations are realistic. Are, are the things that you're expecting to happen really going to happen? I was reading through the entrepreneur uh, forum on Reddit today. There's a guy in there who quit his day job to make royalty-free music, and he's not able to make a living doing that, and he was asking the group, what can I do? <laughs> I think the first comment, maybe the second one, was get, get a job. I mean, if you're giving away something for free, and his model was to give it away for free. I know you can sell royalty-free music, but he wanted to give it away for free. So, like, all of the responses were, well, how did you plan on making money? Didn't have a good plan to start with. His expectations were not uh, aligned. So that's number one, check your expectations. Number two, what you can do when things are not working right, just ask. If you're not getting, I mean... You know, kind of chuckling about his question, but that's what this fellow did. He asked somebody that he trusted. You can ask somebody you trust. You can ask a coach. You can ask your potential customers. If you're trying to solve a problem for a particular group and nobody's buying it, find some people out of that group and ask them why not. They'll tell you why people want to help. So let them help. So number one, check your expectations. Number two, ask. And then number three, the whole reason I'm drinking coffee out of this cup this morning. If you want different results, you have to do things differently. 
if you're doing something just like this guy on Reddit, right? If he wants to make a living making music, he's got to find a way to charge for it. There is no model that allows you to make money. <laughs> I was going to throw something else in there. There's no good model that allows you to make money where you're giving stuff away for free. It just doesn't work that way, right? So he has to do something differently. Maybe he can continue to give away the things he wants to give away for free if he does 25 or 30 or 40% of his time doing for-profit work, right? I mean, there's a, there's a mix in there, right? You just have to find it. Now, the problem, all three of these things add up to the same problem. Yeah. YouTube, great example, great example. Um, all three of these things add up to the same, to find their root in the same problem, I think. We jump forward to the solution without really looking at the question behind the question or the, the why behind the what right? is probably more accurate here. Right. I want to be a YouTube star. Okay. Great. So I start giving away, you know, fantastic content on YouTube for free. I get a million followers and I'm not making any money. So I can't afford to keep doing, doing it. Well, I want to be a YouTube star is the solution. We've jumped forward to the solution. What's the real problem? What's the real why underneath that? Well, you know, I hate my job, so I want to be a YouTube star. Well, well, maybe because you also like to eat and like to have a roof over your head, maybe just go find another job or find a derivative of this YouTube star thing that makes money, whatever the case may be, right? Don't, and this is where your expectations come into play. Don't jump forward to the expectations without them giving you a good path to revenue, or at least a good path to a living. All right, I'm going, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. You guys have a fantastic weekend. It's been my pleasure being with you this week, even for the minute or so that I was silent this morning. It was still awesome. I'm going to come to you from the road next week. You just have to tune in on Monday to see where we are. But uh, we'll be traveling next week. We'll still be here. You hope you'll be here on Monday uh, as well. Have a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you then. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you.